in today's video I want to show you the backbone of the Outback power system this is JW Solo USA guys I have three different modules here made by Outback power so we're talking about maybe the first generation of the Outback power this is a flex max 60 which they have the MX60 before this one. Said so the Flex Max 60, and this is a 2011 was manufactured, and uh, third quarter. And we have the Mate 2 from Outback. The other model was kind of a circle, like a round object. So take this abs off, this holes off, then that's how it's going to look like. And now we're going to come to the other generation that they created. These are inverter chargers made by Outback. So here, this is the, um, the FX, the VFX 3524. So it's 3500 watt 24 volt and this one they are all low frequencies and the vfx so it's a vented you can see it has the fan to uh do the ventilation this is good for remote places where it's really hot and it can dissipate it can take the air from here the filter and it cools off from the vent. From these fins here, these are cooling sink, but it has some fins on the sides. If I can show you from this side, see exactly, it kind of pours. The air comes out from that. And if we come to the other generation here, and this is the uh, VFX 32, 32, but it's a 32, 36 this is a 36 volt inverter which can go all the way to the specs you can see 32 volt and all the way to 40 45.3 volt here for your battery if you check this one you see what this one can do as well from 32 to 34 all right so it's a vented as well just like the other one okay i have the seal which is the m which is the marine version here goes an older one as well excuse me and this is the vfx 3648 so let me set this camera steadily can you read the specs this one can go from 42 to 48 or uh, 42 to 68 volt it can take up to about 68 volt I like inverters with um, a wide input range see that it's a 68 volt and this one goes all the way 43 volt right from here there and this one comes all the way a range up to what 34 volt which is a 3424 I like inverters like this has a, a wide range and these are low frequencies these are very, very powerful machines made by Outback Power. Um, Outback is my first love. And Outback, I, I, um, I get attracted to Outback uh, 2000, I think 2006. Yeah, 2006. And I think I started my channel 2007, something like that. 
And um, you can see these guys are awesome. And I give kudos to Outback. And they had me featured on one of their, um, on their system built on their main page. Go back there and check it out, JW Solar USA, which I incorporated um, a predecessor, which was a midnight classic I had on my board on my command center when I started. So these are the systems that really, really hold the foundation. What I'm saying for myself, my opinion, uh, opens the my eyes on more renewable energy i and product okay and um before that there are a few of the other machines but these are outstanding machines is incredible i own approximately you see three here i have one at the uh, command center which is the the fx um 3048MT, which is uh, is up there at the command center, and um, incorporated with different uh, battery monitors, uh, sorry, um, remote monitors, and um, let's bring the Mate 3. They end up bring, um, bringing out the Mate 3 after the Mate 2. It is the Mate 3 here, and they have the Mate 3S. And I've seen the Mate 3, another version, um, Mate 3 something, but it doesn't use the Ethernet port. It just has the, the, the hub part of it. Okay? It doesn't have, you can't connect to the Internet with it. This one you can. And this one, you can able to sell or buy power. And this one has the rotary is a wheel like a mouse pad you can able to do a lot of stuff your generator and you can do all your inputs favorites and events it tells you diagnostic and everything and um these are the products which are just you know they stole my heart from the first time they're very very they were very very expensive and i think up till now they still hold some of their values and it's unbelievable what this company can provide or brought us to the solar industry. I'm really, really proud and really respect this American company. I have quite a few of them that uh, I think I have uh, approximately 10 of Outbacks, different versions. And the 20, 20, 24... I have um, the 36 VFX, FX, different ones. So let me take you to the command center so they can see what I'm talking about. Here we go. Here we have the uh, Mate 3S. This is one of the advanced uh, um, monitor, remote monitor they have, or display, or dis remote display. And... Um, when I come back here, here to the command center, you will see the, the, the next higher, um, the next level of the charge controller, which is the FX um, FlexMax 80. The one we first see, seen is the FlexMax 60. That they were had first the MX60 and uh, the FlexMax 60 and FlexMax 80, and they keep going. And this is the um, this is the FX 3048. It's a full version, and it has the hub right here, the communication, and it has that's the other model right there. They have the communication, which is the FlexNet DC. The FlexNet DC is responsible to monitor your battery charging cap capacity, or you can do a lot of stuff into that thing. It's really awesome. You can use this uh, equipment on solar, wind, and um, it's really cool. 
it's really cool what you can just do with these machines so this is the other fourth inverter in here and i have shipped um quite of them back home which uh is africa and um and they are just outstanding this one is made for harsh conditions it doesn't have any ventilation you see it's seal that this is the seal one the marine that's the vented one the ones that i showed you the three there is the vented and this is a seal one it's made for harsh weather conditions like uh any um um moisture and sand and more salty area that people that lives in like um, the desert or somewhere and maybe very close to the ocean with a salty water and these guys this guy right here is meant for that is a seal it has an internal fan on this thing but the cover right here it has an external fan that blows the air to the uh, cast metal right there and cool the entire out the outside part of it and the inside there's a cooling fans running their little ones so the uh the vfx those are vented and um it has the internal fan and um external instead of having the external on the cover it has the internal because of the uh huge transformer low frequency to cool the transformer and all the way so these are the stuff I own with Outback quite a equipment I just want to show you guys today what I own with Outback and I invested a lot of money with them and a lot of um, um, peaceful mind when it comes to their product and uh, so as other companies but I will never stop speaking strongly about Outback. They are always in my heart and they have done outstanding work and reliability, longevity is just outstanding. It's amazing what this company brought us to the energy sector, the renewable energy grid tied and off grid solar system and some of these guys here there can do a grid tide system this um you can see that was a a letter back there the vfxr 3524 a so that can do you can sell power back to the grid see look at the frequencies It's really a shifting frequency. It has a automatic transfer switch. So they can transfer automatically as soon as you connect them to the grid. You hear the click. And there we go. So this is all I have for Outback today. And um, I just want to show you um, if you want to invest money invest on a company that had a reputation and a company that's gonna be around for a long 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 time and you will enjoy your investment they were a very good company i don't have nothing bad and I've never sent any of their product to them to be fixed or nothing till the warranties are all expired but you know i really um happy and thank god for that because it is it, supposed to be a headache for other people some people are saying um they don't have luck with them i don't have no complaint about them outback is my first love like right here from command center chw solo usa in minnesota thanks for watching like and subscribe and stay tuned for more to come on solar equipment.